Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to draw a chibi cartoon uh, ray from Star Wars The Force Awakens. This one's a little bit um, complicated for a chibi, but let's see how we do. Okay, so get a piece of paper out. It doesn't have to be brown, I'm just using brown. And then draw a circle with guidelines within it. These guidelines are going to be erased so don't draw them too too darkly and you don't have to draw them blue. I just like to draw guidelines blue in tutorials. And go ahead and lightly draw a letter X for the guidelines for her body. And then draw an oval for each eye and a line for two lines for her neck and draw a large number three shape on the right side of her head. This will be her hair. I might go fast. If I do, please just pause and then continue when you're ready. I want you to outline the X. The way I did, obviously. And then draw a letter C for her ear, and then draw a guideline for her arms. These also will be erased later. Draw an oval in each eye. And then draw a curved line over the left eye and a sideways letter S-like curve over the right eye. When I say that, what I'm talking about is, let me show you, as you can see a letter S goes, curves under and then it curves over. So when I say a, a, a curve S, I'm saying it kind of does something like that. It goes over and then under or vice versa. So it's just an easy way for me to, to, to tell you what a line looks like to me. And a lot of times I purposely draw, when I'm, when I'm drawing a character, I purposely put that in because I think it's easy to explain. Okay, so go ahead then and outline the arms, the arm guidelines that we drew in the last step. And then draw a curved line at the bottom of the legs. And a sideways letter D shape or moon shape in each eye. Go ahead and draw a backwards letter C shape on the back of her head. This again is her hair. Sorry, starting to look like a chibi. Okay, so draw a curved line from, e from one arm to the other and then draw a backwards letter S shape for the hair that's coming down off her face and another one on the right side of her face and in her ear, and then draw an oval in each eye, and draw a curved line at the bottoms of her arms, and draw two curved lines for her belt, and then draw two capital letter R shapes for her feet. You see how I like to use letters? That's because when I was a kid I thought that it was easy to draw if I turn things into letters, so that's why I do that. I know not everyone learns like that, but I did, so. Go ahead and draw a sideways letter S shape under her, her face, and a letter V shape under that, and a number three shape for her right arm, um, excuse me, for her right hand, and a number nine shape for her left hand. And then draw a curved line to the left of it. And draw some curved lines on her arms. And an upside down letter V shape for her bangs. And then, this might be hard for you to see, but draw some letter E shapes for the belt. See, it looks like a letter E shape. Once you do that, we'll move on and draw a curved line to the left of her scarf 
and a letter S shape to the left of her bangs. Draw two lines for the belt above the belt that you drew. It's a part of the belt. And then draw a curved line under her, her face and a line on the right hand and a line on each foot. Draw a number three shape in her left hand and a letter L shape between her legs. And another, another uh, excuse me, another two lines on her feet. My cat's attacking me. <laughs> and draw a flattened letter S shape to the right of her, her right eye. And then draw two long lines for her staff in her left hand. Draw a curved line under her left foot and a backwards number seven to the left of her belt. And then draw a line above the belt. And um, over here on the left of the eye, I drew a letter V shape and filled it in for her eyelash. Draw a curved line in her right foot and on her left foot and her right foot as well, another line. I'm not going to explain each line. It's, take, it's probably annoying you. <laughs> so, um, draw a letter L shape, a tiny little L shape for her nose, and a curved line for her mouth. And then, on the staff, draw a bunch of lines above it, as well as below it. We're going to be connecting those lines in the next step. Okay. So, just connect those lines together in different ways. They don't have to be perfect. It's just a cartoon. So do it the best you can. No one will notice if you, if you get the slant wrong, I'm sure. Okay, so I know this is a hard chibi, so if you don't get it exactly right, Please don't be hard on yourself. Okay, so I just wanted to show you. I just erased guidelines and lines we don't need. So you might need to pause and, and, and erase. Once you're ready, come back and we'll start coloring. Um, just so you know, you don't need to color things in. Um, I'm doing it, but you don't need to. So right here, all I did was I drew a bunch of lines in it, showing you that. See in the hair, I drew, a I drew lines, and then very lightly I drew some lines in the clothes. And then, because I'm drawing this on brown paper, I like to outline it in white. And, ta-da! I hope you like it. Um, come back. We have lots of other tutorials. Um, let me know if you want any specific tutorial. Bye.